Have you heard of something called quinoa? Well, it is a healthy wheat alternative that is gaining in popularity for a lot of really good reasons. <laughs> Chef Donna Stone, who has a new bestseller, Healthy You, is here with a festive way to prepare it for the holidays. Now, when I first saw it, I was pronouncing it quinoa, quinoa. A I had lot no... of people do that. Quinoa. Yes. And it's quinoa. healthy. Why? It is so healthy. There's tons of protein in there, mm. and it's a, a complete protein. So for a lot of things, you have to have more than one thing to make it a complete protein. For this, just like eating a piece of chicken, eating a yeah. piece of beef, you're going to get that great protein in a healthy way. Uh, and a good alternative to rice and to potatoes. So it is also wheat-free. Yes, So is also great. is a wonderful thing if you're trying to cut back on your wheat or you have wheat allergies. Sure. It's a great way to do something. And it tastes great. If you like brown rice, if you like wild rice, yeah. I actually think this is better tasting. And I like mixing the red quinoa with the uh, normal quinoa. Yep. It kind of makes it a, a, a pretty presentation. And All it's right. beautiful. So, so we're, we're making, what, uh, a cranberry, cranberry quinoa? quinoa. And Sounds so it's perfect good. for the holidays. You yeah. can do it in place of stuffing, or you can just do it for a great side dish, and it's really healthy. So it can be one of those healthy holidays. And you can actually staples. make this ahead of time. You've, you've already so pre-cooked the quinoa. I did. So just according to package instructions, right. we're going to do one cup. It ends up being about two cups when you're done. Which is great. And then we're going to take a half a cup of cranberries, and mm -hmm. these are just dried cranberries, no added sugar or anything bag. like that. Yep. Right out of the bag, you can get them at a health food store. You might even get them at most markets. Right. Two scallions we're going to okay. do. You're going to put in there a quarter cup of um, almonds, almonds, and those are okay. diced. I like them real thin yep. diced, so they're not too crunchy, but they're good. Right. And then my favorite, cilantro right here. Love and it. if you can put in the parsley, cilantro, um, it's, it's a quarter cup. It's supposed to be. I do a little more because it's my favorite. Oh, so we throw in. And I actually, with the cilantro, just got so big, I Rip just kind of. Yeah. Rip it up well, very so, easily. What's so nice about this is it's already looking like a holiday dish with the red <laughs> really and the looks green. Really and, pretty. Yeah, it's very really festive. I love it. So now I'm going to put you to work here. Okay. So we're going to make the dressing, and you're going to do about two tablespoons of lemon, which is probably about a half a lemon right there. So if you can squeeze that in. Okay, I've never done one okay, of these things. Okay, we're going to stand Be back. Be careful, stand back. <laughs> Am I doing? Okay, there yes, we go. Yes, just so. squeeze hard. Use your muscles. All right. Oh boy, you do need a little there, strength that's, for this. That's perfect. Perfect. Right. And yeah. I know you work out, see, so that was not hard yes. for you at all. We're going to do two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So in you here. use a measuring spoon? I okay. don't. Well, I'd be okay. like this. Well, okay, so here we go, because I love olive oil. All right, so at home, I do not. I just kind of eye it. But you know, I want to give everybody the right you know, ingredients and directions. Right. So we're going to use um, a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay. And then coriander, the same thing, a quarter teaspoon. And then you're going to whisk this up for me. I okay. told you I'm making you work today. Yeah, no, this is great. And you know, I really love the idea of making your own dressing because it doesn't take that long. And if you look at store-bought yeah. dressings, there's stuff in those ingredients that you can't I even can't pronounce. even pronounce. You don't know exactly. what they are. Just tastes so fresh, too. And I'm not, yeah. again, so this I don't measure. We're going to do okay. about a quarter teaspoon um, salt, sea salt. And then um, any kind of salt you want, honestly. Okay. But um, And then black pepper. Fresh ground pepper. Yeah, ground is the best, of course. And we're going to put that right here over the salad. So here we go. And I'm going to toss it for you. Nice. And this is, I mean... I can eat this for lunch. I love it that much. And, you know, so again, it's great for the holidays for a side dish, but really just today at lunch, this is going to be my lunch right yeah, here. Yeah, there you Not go. Not this whole thing, of course. This is four servings, so the recipe makes four servings. Well, I gotta, um, but I it's tell you okay, you're going to try this you here? Can, yeah, I'm going to try it, but right, this is great. Sure you, can, you can make a bunch of it and then bring it to work for lunch. And you a lot can of times. Send it to school with the kids. Absolutely. This is great. And a lot of times, ah, things like this that you put dressing bite. on, even tomorrow, it tastes even that much better as the quinoa soaks it up, so. <laughs> Good? High five. All right. <laughs> We're going to put this recipe up on our website, daytimeonline.tv. Donna Stone, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you. Happy this holidays. Fun cooking to you. with you. All right. Be right back.